Hello, and welcome parents to the 22-23 school year. I'm Kyle Williams, and I have the pleasure of serving as principal here at Carl Junction High School. Throughout this video, our team of administrators and counseling office staff are gonna provide you and your child with information and tools necessary to start the school year off successfully. Communication between school and home is vital to the success of your child. Parent Portal is the primary means of communication used here at CJHS. Through Parent Portal, parents can access grades, contact staff members, and take care of day-to-day -day items for their children. If you do not have access to Parent Portal, please reach out to our high school office at 649-7081. Prior to school starting, it's important that parents take care of all online back-to-school forms. This can be accessed on the Carl Junction R1 homepage at cjr1.org. As we start the school year off this year, we are blessed and fortunate that all students will receive new Chromebooks here at the high school. That Chromebook distribution will take place on the first day of school. In order for your child to receive their Chromebook, please take care of the damage waiver fees that can be paid through Parent Portal. To wrap up, parents, I would encourage you to take a little bit of time prior to school starting to sit down with your student to discuss the importance of high school. Not only are these next four years an opportunity for your child to continue to develop socially and emotionally, it's an opportunity for your child to continue the academic and interpersonal skills necessary to be a productive member of our community. We plan to support your child by upholding our mission to ensure that all students learn, graduate, and develop the skills necessary to be successful beyond high school. Again, I just wanna thank you for taking the time to view this information and we look forward to seeing your student on August 22nd. Thank you. Hello parents, I am Nicole Keller, Assistant Principal at Carl Junction High School. Sean Mays and I share duties related to student attendance and discipline by splitting the alphabet. I work with students whose last names begin with the letters A through K and Mr. Mays will work with students last names L through Z. Please do not hesitate to contact either of us as you have concerns throughout the year. You can call the office during school hours and the number is 649-7081. During this video, I will briefly discuss the student handbook, student discipline, and the A-plus program. I look forward to working with you and your student over the next four years. After choosing high school from the drop-down menu under schools, you can find the handbook under site shortcuts on the left. You can select the handbook under the heading Our School. The handbook contains general information, our red white day schedule, emergency procedures, and school policies. Expectations for student behavior and consequences for failing to meet those expectations are also outlined in the handbook. Our mission is to prepare students for success beyond high school. To achieve this mission, a climate conducive to learning must be maintained. The Bulldog Code of Conduct outlines student expectations district-wide, including the areas of responsibility, respect, and safety. At the high school level, we expect students to be responsible by arriving to each class on time with needed materials and completed assignments. We also expect a ready-to-work attitude a lack of attention to responsibility will result in academic and disciplinary consequences. I am respectful is best seen in your speech and interactions with others. We expect students to be respectful of their classmates and our staff at all times. I am safe refers to the following of procedures and guidelines put in place to protect your child and those around them. If teachers or I have concerns about your child's behavior, we will communicate with you. Please be sure to communicate any concerns you have with teachers or with any building administrator. Although we are not going to review all of the student expectations in this video, there are a few things I would like to highlight and I'm requesting your help with these. Students are not to access cell phones between the hours of 8 a.m. and 3.05 p.m., not even at lunch. Phones should remain out of sight and turned off please help us maintain a focused working environment. We realize the need for communication between parent and student might arise during the school day. In this instance, we ask that you please do so by contacting our office and that students contact you from our office. Please keep this to a minimum by limiting this communication to emergency situations. The other expectation I'd like to mention relates to dress code. 
As you're preparing for the start of school, please keep in mind the fingertip length rule as it applies to the length of shorts, skirts, and the height of holes and pants. Also, CJHS students are expected to have shirts and pants that meet and do not expose the midriff area. More details can be found in the handbook starting on page 34. If at any time your student has a concern, please encourage your child to report that information to a school employee, teacher, or administrator. Sprigio is an anonymous reporting system provided by the district. Sprigio is available for student use via the high school homepage and will notify a school administrator of, of concerns that your student submits. I also serve as the district A plus coordinator. Believe me, high school goes by quickly. You are probably already thinking about what your child will do after high school. The A plus program is a great way to get two years of post-secondary education for free at a Missouri community college or vocational technical school. Anyone who participates and meets the requirements at graduation is awarded the scholarship. Some four-year institutions, such as Missouri Southern and Missouri State, also offer small scholarship incentives upon completion of the a program. An attendance rate of 95% or higher, a signed agreement by both the student and parent, adherence to a citizenship policy, consent to drug testing, and a completion of tutoring hours are a few of the requirements. More information is available on the counseling page of our website. I will be sending information out to students in the first couple weeks of school. So if you're interested, uh, have them be looking for that. Thanks so much for listening, and I'm looking forward to a great school year. Hello, I'm Sean Mays, and I'll be serving as an assistant principal at Carl Junction High School for the upcoming school year. I'm excited to begin a new year and also excited to be a Bulldog. As your student transitions to the high school, I would like to touch base with you on a few things. These will include the following, attendance, breakfast and lunch procedures, busing information, and school safety. Feel free to stop by or give me a call or shoot me an email if you have any questions. Thanks, and let's make it a great year. Junction High School. Attendance has a direct correlation with student achievement, thus also having a direct correlation with credits earned towards graduation. The expectation is that students maintain an attendance rate of 90%. That allows the students to miss up to four times in each block. If they do miss more than four times, they run the risk of not receiving credit for that block. Carl Junction High School does not distinguish between excused and unexcused absences. Every absence, whether for an illness, an appointment, or a funeral, will count towards the students' four absences. The only exception is if they are on a school-sponsored activity. Doctor's notes, parent notes, and parent calls do not excuse an absence. However, they should be turned into the office to help prove an extenuating circumstance and also to keep the lines of communication open. What happens when a student is in danger of falling below the 90%? After the third and fifth absence, a letter will be sent home outlining the absences as well as the attendance policy. After the fifth absence, the student may receive no credit or an attendance contract may be offered. Students who exceed the maximum number of absences have the option of appearing with their parent or guardian before the attendance review committee. This committee will determine if the student will receive credit for that class. Next, let's take a look at breakfast and lunch procedures. The last two years, students have received free breakfast and free lunch. That is no longer the case as we move into this year. Full price for a breakfast this year will be $1.35. The line will open at 740 for the students to eat in the commons. In regards to lunch, full price for lunch will be $2.75. Students are assigned to a lunch period, and the first lunch starts at 1105, and the last lunch starts at 1235. Students receive 25 minutes to eat lunch. Your enrollment packet had a free and reduced form. I strongly encourage you to take the time to fill that out. If you do fill it out, your name will also be entered into a drawing for a gift card. You can find more information at the following address. Transportation, busing information. If you're not sure what bus your student might ride or where it might pick them up or what time it might get there, you can visit the school's homepage at cjr1.org. There's a tab you will click on departments and then transportation. You'll click on the link provided, enter the grade and address, and then you will click the link below 
to find school transportation. You'll receive the following information. It will outline where the stop will be, what bus number it will be, and what time it will arrive. You will also receive the same for the trip home. If your student rides the bus home, they will catch a shuttle bus to the elementary campus. They must go directly to the shuttle bus. Shuttle buses will be located in the north parking lot. If their bus is one of the shuttle buses, they must ride that bus to the elementary campus. Students will not be permitted to walk to the elementary campus to catch their bus. School safety. Students are not allowed on campus after school hours unless there is adult supervision present. Students should be supervised at all times when on campus. High school students should not enter the junior high. Parent transportation. If you are transporting your student to or from school, drop off is in the south lot. However, if you need to pick them up early or drop off late, this will be in the north lot and you must communicate that with the office. Reporting. See something, sense something, and say something. Please, as parents or students, report any concerns to building administration, school staff, or a school resource officer. Hi, I'm Sarah Neldeberg. I'm one of the counselors in the counseling office. We are so excited to see your students soon at school. We have been working hard to get all the details ready for them. In this video, I am going to cover three areas how the counselors can serve as a personal support, mandated reporting, and finally, student schedules. First, our office is across from the main office. Students are free to stop by and see us. If we happen to be away from our office or have another student with us, we can call for you at another time. Also, keep in mind that there are multiple ways to report any issues that you might need help with. You can tell any staff member if there is something you need to report, or you can use the online Sprigio system. Parents, please don't hesitate to call or email us if you need anything as well. Our contact information is found online. We also have a Facebook and Twitter page that we encourage students and parents to follow where we post important information. All school staff are mandated reporters. When we are made aware of a situation where a student is possibly being hurt, may hurt someone else, or may hurt themselves, we are mandated to contact parents and the proper authorities. We want to do the best we can to make sure your students are safe. You can view student schedules through Tyler SIS. Students will also receive a printed schedule at freshman orientation and on the first day of school. You will see eight full blocks of classes listed and a homeroom. Since we have block scheduling at the high school, you will only go to four of those classes each day. On a red day, you go to classes one, two, three, and four. On a white day, you go to classes five, six, seven, and eight. Each day ends with homeroom, except for early out Fridays. You will also see both semesters listed on the schedule. You can see the bell schedule located here. It can also be found online in the handbook. The last day to request a schedule change is Wednesday, August 24th. If you see an issue with your schedule, email your counselor. Counselors will divide the students by the first letter of their last name with Mrs. Neldeberg, A through G, Ms. Ketterman, H through O, and Mrs. Boyer, P through Z. Information on classes can be found on the high school website, in the counseling office tab, and then the planning guide. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rich Neria. I am the athletic director at Carl Jung's High School. I hope you are all well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next couple of weeks. I have six things I need to bring to your attention. They are citizenship, social media, drug consent, athletics, activities, and rush. The research behind being involved in extracurricular activities is indisputable. Students are happier, healthier, and more productive. School years even go better. To participate, students must maintain good behavior. Each of you will sign a citizenship policy, a social media policy, and a drug testing consent policy. Each of these are accessible in the parent portal on the website. Please be sure that you review the expectations outlined in each. The last thing that I want to bring to your attention is Rush. Rush is scheduled for August 31st at 6 p.m. in the South Parking lot of the high school. This is a tremendous opportunity to find something that may assist you in being more involved 
in the ongoings of Carl Jenks High School. More information will come in the first week of school. Please plan on attending. In conclusion, never hesitate to reach out to me if you need anything. I hope you enjoy what remains of your summer, and I will see you on August 22nd.